mom and a pit bull. One's not qualified to be vice president and the other is a dog. <laughs> oh, she's so good. I can only hope to be as edgy tonight. Um, let's see. My friend just moved to France to work on an organic farm out there. Like get away from the tax man, live off the grid, all that sort of thing. So I thought, that's really cool. But then I got a message from him like three weeks later, or so, should I say a friend request on Facebook? <laughs> really, one of your first off the grid decisions is to join Facebook. <laughs> Pretty sure Facebook is the grid. <laughs> Speaking of Europe, uh, have you noticed how many European tourists there are in Chicago? And they're always just walking around carrying tons of bags because they can buy whatever they want. <laughs> and they're just going home with their suitcases full of little tchotchkes from Saks and Prada. And I just, it makes me kind of sad because I feel like all of a sudden America is Francis Peru. It's sad. <laughs> it's kind of sad. But we're supposed to have confidence in the banks. <laughs> confidence. So I went to pay, take my paycheck to the bank, and because I'm confident that they're not just gonna blow it on like a bunch of hypercolor t-shirts on eBay or something. Am I right? Hypercolor t-shirts from my childhood. <laughs> Nailed it. So I put my check in the bank, and the guy behind me is the guy painted silver on Michigan Avenue. No joke. And he had a, he had his bucket change with him and the radio on the cart was sitting outside no joke so I am very confident now I am confident that my bank will give an account to fucking anyone <laughs> I'm gonna check my list okay the Great Depression it's supposed to be the Great Depression all over again you've heard that right and it makes me kind of sad that my kids are gonna have to grow up during the Great Depression in a war because I will be so heartbroken if they turn out to be a bunch of cocky assholes who call themselves the greatest generation. <laughs> Not even cool. <laughs> so I was in Denver recently, or a year ago, but the story's good. And that place is just like jam-packed with dudes, just walking in packs together, like getting in fights. And there's like seven guys per girl out there. So there's a lot of rage going on as well. So uh, we walk out of this bar, and this guy walks, breaks off from his pack, and he's like, no, nah, dude, I'm just going to piss over here. And by over here, he meant the doorway of a downtown bank. <laughs> so I decide to yell something inappropriate. I'm like, seems like a good place for that. Not that funny, just true. And <laughs> so he's, he yells back at me, nice shirt, moth bag. Nice shirt, muff bag. Now look, I would have preferred nice shirt, pretty lady. But muff bag, you kind of got to hand it to him. It's pretty inventive. That's my time. Good night, muff bag. Thanks a lot.